Best fit for James Harden if he leaves Philadelphia 76ers. I got to be honest. He turns 34 this year. This season, he averaged 21 points, 6 rebounds, 10 assists, 1 steal. His field goal percentage was up 6 points compared to last year. His field goal percentage was up 4 points compared to last year. I think the best team for him would be Miami Heat. I, I think the idea that you can pair him with Jimmy Butler and if they can keep Bam Alibio, I think they'll be a force to be reckoned with. And the flip side is they could trade him for Hero and probably get and probably Gabe Vincent. You know what I mean? I think it's a fair trade on both sides. I think James Harden still got a lot left. Might want to score more. But I think Miami Heat, they have a game plan. They're defensively tough. Jimmy Butler is Jimmy Butler. As long as he's cruising, you got a shot. One of the most under, underrated players in NBA history. I think James Harden is... I don't know. I'm not going to say James Harden is underrated. But I do know James Harden is not as appreciated. Because a lot of times when you hear sports media, no matter what he did all season, they keep mentioning how he should be, he should decide what he want to do based on how much money he deserves. And I think that's, that's right. But when sports media talks, they want to say he might not be worth that much money because he don't show up in the playoffs. Well, I think this year, the number one person that got to show up is your is your uh, your number one guy, which is Joel Embiid. If you think about Denver, we can't say that Jamal Murray played perfect games every game. He had some games just like Harden had some games. But then on them games where Jamal Murray was playing, was, was being defended tough, or he was slightly off. I mean, I know, of course they had other players that stepped up, but Jokic always stepped up. He always stepped up. I think that's the same thing for Embiid. Your sec, I got, I got a rule that your second best player got to get you a game and a half. James Harden got them a game. If I'm not mistaken, James Harden got them a game. When he dropped that 40-plus on... Forgot who they played, but he dropped 40-plus. Was that Boston? Might have been Boston. So he got them a game, and he got them... I think he dropped 40 twice. That second time, they lost I mean, hopefully they run it back with the same crew. Maybe their new coach could switch up a little bit and get them over the hump. Or maybe injuries could play a role to get them where they want to be. But at the end of the day, James Harden is still a good age. And he needs his money. 21 points is not James Harden but at the same time he, he's a good, he's got a number one guy now so he ain't gonna get he ain't gonna be averaging no 30 plus like he did a few years back but his field goal percentage has always been around 45 last two years it was pretty bad 40% 41% but this year he got it back up to 44 at least which is around the average and he was more healthy this year also. So, only thing I could see him doing is improving. The only problem is, MB had a slight tear in that knee. So, I don't know how that's going to be affected. But, like I said, I think the best team for him to play with is Miami Heat. They got a nice crew. They got shooters that he could pass to. They can open a lane. He got a person he can throw the alley to. And then he got the mid-range player with Jimmy Butler. I think that's a dangerous crew.